two guns on screen. Can you tell which one is the airsoft? If not, don't worry. It's a trick question. They both are. They have sights on them. They put suppressors on them. They put devices on them that makes it look like it has muzzle flash. These fake guns are causing real issues. Less than two weeks ago, Cascade High School went into lockdown because a kid brought an airsoft gun onto campus. Deja vu for the Everett School, as the same thing happened two years ago. And this problem is not unique to the North Sound. Just a year ago, we had an incident at a middle school in Spanaway where a student brought a airsoft gun. It's metal. It looks exactly like uh, the Glock that I carry on my hip. Tragically, a child is dead, in part, due to an airsoft gun. Investigators say 51-year-old Aaron Myers murdered a teenager earlier this month in Renton. The reason? Myers mistakenly thought the kid was going to commit an armed robbery at a store, when in fact, the victim was only taking the toy gun for a return, according to probable cause documents I obtained. The state does have laws in place intended to keep people safe. For instance, you have to be 18 years or older to buy and use an airsoft gun unless supervised by adults. These guns are also required to have an orange tip on them, but these laws are not always followed. There's no way for us to tell if that's real or not, and that's a terrible choice to make. Sergeant Darren Moss with the Pierce County Sheriff's Department tells me, if you have one of these toys, you need to be responsible. Yeah, you need to treat it like it, it is a real firearm and keep it locked up when you're not playing with it. 